This video is supported by Blinkist, an app that takes all of the need-to-know information from thousands of nonfiction books and condenses them down into just 15 minutes. You can go to Blinkist.com slash SciShow for a seven-day free trial and 25% off a premium membership. If you've ever watched a woodpecker at work, you may have found yourself wondering how a bird can repeatedly pound their head against tree trunks without damaging their brains in the process. Well, you would not be the only one to wonder this. Scientists have spent a lot of time investigating this question, and they don't always arrive at the same conclusion. There are several hypotheses floating around, and the leading one is that woodpecker skulls act like little shock-absorbing helmets. We've even made a video about that. But as the research rolls in, it looks like their skulls don't do much of any shock absorbing. Instead, their skulls come with a whole assortment of specialized features to let them both take a proverbial punch and deliver one. Newton's first law of motion tells us that objects in motion like to stay in motion. So when a moving head smashes into a tree, the brain inside wants to keep going, and that energy can send the brain bouncing around inside the skull for a little while longer, too. In a human, this would most likely lead to a concussion. But woodpecker skulls are not built like my skull. The front of them is made of a spongy kind of bone, which scientists hypothesized acted as a shock-absorbing material that kept the bird safe. But there's another one of Newton's laws that gets in the way of that hypothesis. Every action comes with an equal and opposite reaction. If a woodpecker's skull were absorbing the brunt of the impact, that would also mean that the skull is applying less force to the tree, and that's not what they want. In order to make that whole, woodpeckers would have to work even harder than their tiny heads already do. Back in July of 2022, one team used high-speed videos of three different woodpecker species to confirm that there was basically no shock absorption going on. Instead, they found that woodpecker heads are specialized to deliver as much force into their pecking target as possible. In other words, these birds come equipped with built-in hammers. But that also means that an equal force is being delivered back into their heads. So how are their brains surviving all of this pecking? It seems to be a combination of a few factors. For one, woodpecker skulls are pretty small. Researchers estimated that if their heads were larger, the amount of pressure each peck would exert on the brain could be enough to cause a concussion. The team also hypothesized that woodpeckers protect their brains by not pecking too quickly and not pecking wood that's too stiff. Meanwhile, that patch of spongy bone is there to add a little bit of elasticity so that part of the skull is less likely to shatter on impact. But other research has clarified the role of the skull's unique structure, not just having a bit of spongy bone, but the fact that different parts of the skull have different mineral compositions and bone densities. In a different study, another team of scientists 3D printed several models of woodpecker skulls and then smashed them into a metal target to reproduce what they called a worst-case scenario. Based on those experiments, it appears the skull's internal structure helps redirect the equal and opposite force that the birds generate while pecking. That force gets converted into a pressure wave that travels through their heads, but instead of heading toward the brain cavity, the waves are sent down through what's known as the jugal bone at the bottom of the skull. The team also observed how the skulls move through three-dimensional space in response to a collision. It turns out that movement can help dampen the specific pressure waves that would be most harmful to a woodpecker brain. You know how, like, if you move back and forth in a bathtub at just the right speed, you can get the water sloshing so intensely that a bunch of it will just spill out of the bathroom floor? Or how about, like, finding just the right note to make a wine glass shatter? These are the result of resonance frequencies, which are specific frequencies that amplify the movement of whatever the wave is moving through. Every object has a set of resonance frequencies that are determined by what it's made of and its shape, and that includes objects like wine glasses and bathtubs and also bird brains and skulls. So if the pressure wave traveling through a woodpecker's head has the same frequency as one of the head's resonance frequencies, the brain could start sloshing around until it smashes into the skull. The woodpecker wants to avoid that happening, so it can move its head during the peck to try and cancel out any pressure wave that matches its head's resonance frequencies. In fact, their relatively small brain cavities may help with that, too, by keeping any brain sloshing to a minimum. It's harder for the brain to build up the speed it needs to produce a concussion-grade smash. And there may be other ways a woodpecker's specialized biology keeps it healthy. Like these 
birds might have a way to pinch off the veins in their necks to build up some blood-based padding up in there, or they might have special proteins in their brains that help repair damage. So it's really far too simple to say that woodpeckers come pre-equipped with fancy helmets. At the very least, they're more like fancy helmets with a built-in hammer. I guess it shows just how complicated nature can get when there is a very specific and important job to do. And if these woodpeckers were to read Annie Murphy Paul's book The Extended Mind, they will probably be relieved to learn that thinking can go beyond the brain and doesn't have to stay within the confines of a skull. You might be thinking, Woodpeckers can't read! Well, then it's a good thing that Blinkist also has an audio version of the book available to download and listen to offline, because I know your next concern would be that woodpeckers have a lack of consistent internet access. None of that is a problem when you use Blinkist, an app that takes the best insights and need-to-know information from over 5,000 nonfiction books and podcasts and condenses them down into just 15 minutes of reading or listening. Genres range from psychology to money and investments, so there is something for everyone. And right now, Blinkist has a special offer for SciShow viewers. You can go to Blinkist.com slash SciShow to get unlimited access for one week to try it out. You'll also get 25% off if you want the premium membership, and you can start your free seven-day trial by clicking the link in the description. Thank you to Blinkist for supporting this SciShow video, and thanks to you for watching.